Uh, What's going on, guys? Welcome to another cube draft here on Ravnica Online slash Guilds of Innistrad. None of those things are true. Ravnica Online. <clears throat> Ravnica Online. That's a little. That's a little StarCraft meme. In case you guys didn't know. Wawa has been in Florida for like years now. Yeah, like I think there were Wawas here before I left, and then when I came back. So like five years. Yeah, like it's been a while. Right? It's still rel relatively new, though. Five years? That's a pretty long time. I also feel like they were just being constructed when we left. You must construct additional Wawa's. Hey, guys. Out of town for work. Always nice to catch a stream until I get back and call it back to work. That's actually funny, because uh, above, <laughs> we have old Doug, and he said, uh, in Europe for work, and I get to watch live. So apparently... Getting to watch live when you guys are at traveling for work is where you want to be. <clears throat> what up, Expos? Oh my god, Rob. Every time they post on the Sick Deals, the MTG Sick Deals group, and they're like, Windswept Heath Expo. I'm like, why are you calling it an expo? It's not an exposition. It's an expedition. I don't under I don't get it. Like, I just don't understand it. It, it, it tilts me so much. Yeah, you got a demo for that expo. You got a demo for that? Yeah, man, you gotta go. Let me search my library for uh, windswept teeth. I'm demoing for the expo. <sighs> Michael and these new dragon fruit refreshers, so good. That thing looks like that's the most purple thing I've ever seen. Look how it's purple that purple. is. I don't know if you guys can get a feel for how purple that is. It's like the purplest drink I've ever seen. It's very purp. <clears throat> Also, me and my visionary at work, but not in Europe. Some someone fix that. I'll take tickets to Europe. Thanks. Well, that would be halfway home. So, <laughs> Demo Tuto, <laughs> you gotta play a little Demo Tuto. Halloween was good. It's not Halloween yet. You gotta still got eight days, buddy. 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 Buddy, 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 bro. Pretty sure this is the best card in the pack. I don't think it's close. So you don't want to take that uh, gruesome mannery? I played this yesterday. It was actually pretty good. <clears throat> in Golgari, where you're getting a bunch of creatures in the graveyard, I uh, had a two drop and a three drop pretty consistently, and I had a one drop that I could potentially get in there. Oh, the movie. Okay. The movie? Yeah, the the Halloween movie. The new one. Oh, Halloween was so good. I got you. You ex-bro. <laughs> I am an ex-bro because we're done. Got him. Yeah, I'm just going to take this. Uh... Yeah, I think Disinformation is the is good. Uh, I think Deadly Visit's stronger, though. Especially because you might not end up in Demir. This will get played in any black deck, so. The campaign's not bad to build around, but as we've noticed. Wow, who passes this? See, now we can go Golgari and splash this off of one white. And that's... This is crazy. Why would you Why would you not first pick this and go into Celestnia? Celestnia. <laughs> like, there's no uncommon. Uh, there's no uncommon missing. <clears throat> so what common do you take over this? Unless there's like a foil Ral Zarek or something. Anyway. Oh, alright. Well, Another Luminous Bonds? Jeez. Uh, we've gotten... I, someone submitted one stip. They didn't actually, like... They just suggested two things, and I was like, alright, I'll look these over in a second. But we haven't... I don't think we've done any. <clears throat> Isn't this just better than Luminous Bonds? I mean, yeah, but is Mardu a thing you want to do? Martyr? <clears throat> Mardu. <clears throat> you doing okay, man? The Meeval sub gave me the flims. <laughs> also I ate that sandwich in like under a minute so yeah I was wondering about that <clears throat> oh god also I wouldn't be Marta I'd be Naya I would definitely abandon this over this whatever I'll take the bond I don't oh goodness gracious actually this is fine because we can go uh, we can easily go uh, we can splash these off of the white that's totally fine 
I'm a big Golgari fan. I've been doing well with Golgari. And if Fine you're passing us, don't like splashing. Who? Fine Bros. Yes, it does. If all your white sources are also green or black, uh, I guess black not being possible. But Gateway Plaza is good. There's nothing else in this pack I'd even take if I was to not. Sword Companions is fine, but mm. this is Rob's favorite card. Sometimes Rob Demos for a Molder Hulk. That's pretty good. I'm gonna take the Molder Hulk. You can eat a whole fat chicken as fast as me. I don't know. I don't know how long it took you. I don't know, man. Rob Rob demolished that. Rob went chicken a little chicken crazy. And someone have the clip of him eating the chicken? Oh, that was probably it, actually. No, this is not it, I don't think. Serious? Serious? No, this is the reveal. <laughs> that was good stuff. This pack is not very good, as you may notice. I don't really want a Sworn Companions here. Bat Boy! Yeah, I think Bat's actually the best card in this pack, and that doesn't really say much. Uh, uh, Celestia Guildgate's probably where I want to be. I'll take that. <clears throat> there are whole chickens in here! Bad boy, wait for tomorrow. That's a little silver chair. You ever heard of silver chair? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. Kids these days. Silver chair. What's going on, Monster? When did they debut? When? Yeah. God, you're probably one year old. 1992. Yeah, I was exactly one year old. God. <laughs> It's accurate. Got him. So green is the... Eh, Guildgate's pretty good, too. I'm going to take the Siege Worm. Green is our centerpiece. We might not be black. We're probably going to be black, but we might not be black. Mm, maybe it's this guy. If you ever come to Palm Springs, I'll take you to the best sub sandwich ever. The best sub sandwich ever? Wow. You'll take me to the sandwich? I will take you to the sub sandwich. Oh, take me for the best. See, you read it wrong, and then I thought, then I blamed him because I thought he oh, read it wrong. I did read it wrong. You messed up. He didn't say if you ever vom, though. He didn't say come. That's true. I, I, I don't want to vom after the sub sandwich, though. <laughs> also, sub sandwich is kind of redundant, right? I would just call it a sub. Submarine sandwich. I just found the case to my copy of Frog Stomp today. Well, that's something. <clears throat> that was the first Silver Chair album. Frog Stomp. That's right. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I wonder. If Dave, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Would you say to me? <clears throat> I said I wonder if I'd recognize them. I don't know what you'd do. I don't know what you'd do. Yeah, this is good. I mean, the other cards are not playable. Remember when our opponent had four of these in their deck yesterday and they were like, lucky top decks. I don't remember that because I wasn't here. Right. Which is probably why I was talking to the chat, not to you. God. But how were I to know? You weren't. That's why I wasn't talking to you. How were I to know? Yeah. Huh. I think we're done here. Oh, and I and I's. That's pretty good. No, just kidding. Is it a burglar rat? Is he it a swarm like guild mage? I like burglar rat a little bit better. Then swarm guild mage? Mm -hmm. Alright, well, you're a dummy. Well, we just confirmed Mike's a dummy. Yeah, but you gotta, like, tap and activate him. and. Yeah, that only, that only lets you win the game a lot of times. Yeah, it's rough. Oh, foil hatchery spider? 
Somebody up there loves us. Yeah, there's like, not even anything. Like Jesus? Like Jesus? That's your only let you get green creatures, right? Yeah. So what? Just saying. You know what? You're not saying. You're not super saying either. Dummy. Wow. Got him. What are you looking at? I wish to know the silver chair, but don't want to get demonetized. It's a rough life. It is a rough life. I remember back in the day, you could just you could just watch a YouTube video. It'd be no big deal. Back in... Well, not when you were streaming, though. No, that was the thing you used to be able to do. Mm, I think you're making shit up, man. No, there was a, there was a point in time. Look, man, don't lie to me, all right? <clears throat> I ain't lying. I ain't a lying. This is the best card in the pack. Are we Orzov splashing green? I don't even know what's going on with this 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 deck. I'm just gonna take this and we're gonna go. We're gonna be hard up Abzan. Monsonster, when works for you? You let me know. Uh, let me know what works for you. Aziz Ansari was hilarious. It was a good show. Went last night. Ooh, a Temple Garden. Ooh, Conclave Cavalier. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I'm done. It's real touch and go for a bit there. I don't know what to make of any of that. I wasn't sure we were going to pull out of it. There's a joke there. <laughs> there's, a, there's a joke there. Not going to say it. Hey, man, can I have some of your action carbon? You mean activated carbon? Touche. <laughs> we have a good time oh here look here's another rat for you rats off to you buddy yeah, we got it anyway justified justified mm -hmm. what does that even mean it means you were justified in taking the other pick because you got it back anyway hmm it was justified booger rat I'm gonna take this cat cats and rats and cats and rats and cat. I'm gonna take this guild gate This deck is wacky. Oh, I'm going to take another guild gate. Gates on, gates on, gates on gates. Hmm. We already have one collar in the sideboard. I don't think we need two. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. <laughs> I'll take one of these. I like having a sideboard mephitic vapors. What are you saying spaghetti for? You know why. Jokes and jokes and jokes and jokes. <laughs> mm, all these are fun. We're doing okay. <clears throat> that hurt my throat a little bit, but it's okay. It was all for the good of the game. This deck is something, but I don't think it's terrible yet. But but don't wait. We'll make it terrible. It's not terrible yet. You just wait. We're clearly missing two colors. Got some blue and red cards. No, I'll never do that. Mountains are the worst land. We're done. <laughs> jokes and jokes and jokes and jokes. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna open a Niv Mizzet for sure. All of our white cards are only one white, which is nice. I don't think we're playing this. Oh, this is double white, I guess, so I lied. Uh gross. Another day older and deeper in debt. Know that song? 
No. Do you? Do you? No. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. Oh, perfect rare. Actually, this is probably better, right? <clears throat> I mean, we're playing three colors. I think the Chromatic Lantern's pretty dang good. Doesn't Distro Guide, who gets our third color, seem good? As it gives you a 2 2 as well? Seems okay, but I think Chromatic Lantern overall is better. Chromatic what? It fixes your mana instantly and forever. Instantly and forever. Mm hmm. Andy Jar, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Another day older and deeper. And you're one of those streamers that has piles of cash and loses touch with the con man. Posting videos of some buying Lamborghinis. And oh, you want me to flex a little bit? Yeah, I'll, I'll. That'd be great. If you guys want to support me enough so I can flex as a streamer, that'd be pretty sweet. Medium fan, I've been lurking for about a year now, and I was wondering why do you. Why do some no content streamers put Sky Scanner in non artifact decks? This just causes people to create new Twitch accounts just to neck. Yeah, it's rough. It's a rough Sky Scanner deck. What are we taking here, man? You taking this? I would take that, yeah. <clears throat> I agree with you. I don't like it, but I, I will. Oh, that's a nice well, That's a nice one. So I can see us getting that, that back. Uh, you can see us getting a district guide back? Yeah. You definitely need to draft this format more, man. That guy's never coming back in a thousand years. Really? I'll bet you a, a shiny ass nickel. Okay, one shiny nickel's on the line, boys. Get your nickels ready, boys. Put your nickels on the chat. Yeah, this is actually what made me pick the uh, the Lancer because it makes these so much easier to cast. Otherwise, they're basically impossible. Your mother's impossible, Michael. Hmm. I'll just take Shieldmate here. It's good with Siege Worm. It's a good 2-drop. We need more 2-drops. So, Oh, I like Blood Operative here. Lifelink 3-1. We can't Surveil, though. We have, like, no Surveil, which makes sense. We're Golgari, mostly. Uh, I think it's better than another Celestia Gold Gate. I don't like it. Crawl Forges is worse, I think. Wood Shaper is probably worse. More like Poop Shaper. Huh. More like poop shaper. Oh, a dead weight? That's a nice late dead weight. Boy. That's a nice late dead weight. There's also a, a cat I would take, a crushing canopy I would take, a swarm guild mage I would take, and I would take either of these two drops if I had to. But I'll take the removal. Oh, a little ratty McTaddy, huh? What makes him McTaddy? Uh, his last name. <laughs> oh, how dumb of me. When you get rich, will your entourage be all mics? Well, I mean, my, my entourage is pretty much all mics right now, so I don't see why that would change. <clears throat> Five? <laughs> well, I'm in two times. <laughs> what does that even mean? What are you saying right now? I bought uh, $10 worth of lot of tickets, so here's uh, hoping. They're called scratchers? $10 worth of scratchers. He doesn't even know what he bought. Oh, Rosemane Centaur? All right, that's a good dude. Man, look at this pack. Another one? Dang. Do you think it's weird that Lotto lets you play whatever numbers you want? Join Shields is definitely not a blowout. I have never had five mana up to play a, a Join Shields, and uh, it has never been a situation where it was a blowout. What did you just say to me? I said, don't you think it's weird that you're allowed to play whatever numbers you want in the Lotto? Why is that weird? Cause like, it's already your odds are already so low. I guess playing your own numbers doesn't matter. How how else would you do it? They give you numbers? Yeah, they just randomize it. Well, that's weird. Couldn't you rig that some way? No, I guess not because no. they do it. The, the the pick is random. Another day older and deeper in debt. Join Shields doesn't have. Con oh, I see what you're saying. Like convoke all your guys. Yeah, but then if you're sitting there with five mana, like. Why? Like, if you're convoking with enough guys to keep up five mana, why wouldn't you just pay that mana and attack? Like, that doesn't make any sense. The Chuck, thanks so much for the resub. Back from vacation, time for some Frank Mike and Mike. Man, now you have a, a, the, the single name name and I have the double name name. Where's the justice? 
Where's the justified? Where's the justified? Yeah. What does that even mean? It doesn't really mean anything. I just wanted to say it. Why'd you want to say that? Why wouldn't I? No, you have to have a reason to want to do something. You don't have to, you're not going to do everything without a reason. You don't know me. God, it's so painful to just have conversations sometimes. You okay? Daddy needs some more juice. Daddy needs some more juice. <laughs> God. You just put a little special little tequila in there. What's left of that dragon fruit? Then you got dragon fruit flavored tequila. I don't think that would be good. Really? No. Why not? Because there's not enough, enough dragon fruit. You've never attacked first with all your mana up? Wait, what does that mean? Dragon fruit doesn't taste like anything? How In my experience, when I attack with all my guys and I have all my mana up, and my, like, either my creatures are already going to kill their creatures, or they're not going to block. Like, the 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 if it, the amount of times where I have a 3-3 three, three and they block with their 3-3, three, three and I have a 4-4 four, four and they block with their 4-4, four, four, just that for me to pay 5 mana to, like, kill 2 guys or 1 guy, like... The, the amount of situations it comes up is very, very... It's very small. Like, it's not... I'm not being hyperbolic here. It just doesn't happen a lot. And you have to pay five mana for it. Like, if you're using it on your turn, and then they're just like, okay, I'll take it, then, like... I mean, do you not do, you not do anything? Do you just pass with nothing and hope they attack back? Or, like, what if they have two flyers, and then, like, they just attack you with flyers, and then you're like, oh, I didn't do anything on my turn. Like, the, the card is not good. So many There's so many things that can go wrong with this card. I mean, I think the best thing you can do is probably use it as a counter spell, and be like, "Oh, they they try to kill two of your guys or one of your guys, you just counter it." All right. I'm gonna take these aligners out because, like, these are new ones that I just put in last night. It's gonna be weird. You ready? He's removing his teeth. He's a Frankenstein. All right. Until I get used to them, it's actually uh, not super easy to talk with them. So, so, so when I'm streaming, I usually prefer to uh, not have them in, but they don't recommend that, obviously, because you have to have them in for like 22 hours a day. Anyway, um, it has foibles, but it can be usable. Sure, it can be usable, but like for five mana, this is not a kind of card I want to keep up. It's a card that you have to literally keep the mana up for, or it's just going to sit in your hand and do nothing. The amount of times I've tried this card a lot in the beginning of the format, and it just didn't do anything. Like, I would have a 2-2 two, two, and a 3-3, three, three, and I'm like, there's no situation where I want to save either of these guys enough to use this 5-mana uncommon. Anyway, that's my that's my thoughts on that. A 3 black? So you want me to have 5 black sources in this deck? No, we're going to go up to 7 pretty easily. 1, 2, 3. Down to 6, 5. Down to 8. So this is 8, 5, 6. This is 8, 7, 6. Plus the Chromatic Lantern. Seems good. I was the idiot that got duped into blocking and got blown out by... Yeah, but that's never going to happen again. I guarantee you that will not happen to you again in the entirety of your Ravnica drafts in the future. But I mean, like, the odds of you having... Like, the odds of the blocks lining up in such a way that, like this card ends up putting you so far like even reasonably far ahead like it's just not likely do your teeth feel loose now? yeah they feel loose <laughs> they're gonna fall out of my mouth <sighs> do your teeth feel loose? Do they wobble like a goose? <laughs> it was better when it cost one G and Dominaria. Yeah, are you... Wait, uh, was it Dominaria or was it... Which, what are you thinking of? Because I'm thinking of Heroic Intervention. What's one G and Dominaria? What's that one? Unless that's what you're thinking of too. Which I think was 
Aether Revolt, if I'm not mistaken. But the Aether Revolt one is great, and even that didn't see very much limited play. Oh, uh, this hand seems great. We have double black, but not double white. So we can't cast... Actually, hold on, we can go black, black, green, green, or we can go green, green, white. We need another white or another. One wobbly goose buck. <laughs> Oh, okay, so yeah, we were talking about the same, uh, we were talking about Heroic Intervention, which is actually pretty pricey now, isn't it? What's that card go for, man? Two shiny nickels. Oh, you owe me one shiny nickel because the district guide never came back, dummy. Oh, yeah, I do owe you a shiny nickel. God, I'll just take it, it's it's fine, you got me a soda, so we're even. Okay. Yeah, Heroic Intervention is like five bucks now. <clears throat> Dang. That's, that's, that's pretty surprising. crazy because it's like kind of like a, like a kind of meh rare, you know? Anti wrath, bro. Anti rat. Anti wrath. Anti rat. Anti wrath. Anti rat. Anti wrath. <laughs> this is a good bit we're doing here. I wasn't gonna play this guy. I was just gonna play the gateway plaza. But now that I can block this child of night profitably, I have no problem with that. And if they want to use like a trick or kill this guy with a dead weight, then I'll just block with a macat. Totally fine. A block with a macat. Oh no, they got it got worse. But now we just dead weight it, so we can go dead weight gateway plaza. Dead weight gateway. Why doesn't the rat have death touch? Uh, because it doesn't have it doesn't have the plague, dude. Do you think all rats have the plague? Yeah. Wow, that's, that's why I signed up to be a rat. You signed up to be a rat? Yeah. Because you wanted the plague? Yeah. You know what, man? You're making real questionable life choices here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't why agree with you. Want the plague? I can't agree with any of the things you're doing right now. I'm sorry. That's why I signed up to be... Is being a rat just a thing you sign up for? Yeah. Huh. Oh, that's actually really... That's actually an amazing player there. Because now we can't get our dead weight back. But, you know what? Whatever. We'll be alright. Well, that's good. So now we can Luminous Bonds this guy. Because I really don't want this guy ever being a thing. And then we can play a Guildgate. What perfect... What perfect kismet. And now we have white, white, blue... White, white, white green, green... If we draw Cavalier, and we have black, black, green, green for Fine Broker, we can pretty much do it all. Mike Bubana, Bubonic, Bubonica, Blue. Yeah, it's hard. To, that's hard to pronounce. Oh, I see. You want me to block here so that I can block here? You know what? I'll do it though. Mike Bubonicali Boo. <laughs> that's a Bubonic Plague mm -hmm. reference. Frankly, this Halloween, Mike go dress up as a rat, and you could go as a Plague Doctor. Oh God, Plague Doctors are terrifying. They have three cards in hand. Do we just play Stray or do we play... I'm going to play Stray to block Stuart here. Biggle. I think you're Stuart Biggle. It's got to be a Golgari Guildgate, which is why I didn't play this land yet. You ready? Are you guys ready? Here we go. Here we go. I didn't know you could sign up to be a rat. That's actually surprising to me. Mm -hmm. Oh, it does look really red in the straw. Look at that. Do you see it? It's pretty red. Yeah, that legit looks like blood. Okay, it was planes. That's less exciting. But this guy's a 6-6 six, six next turn. That's pretty big. Yeah, that looks real red. Wow. I wonder why it's so red in the straw. It's pretty red in general. Like, I'm, if you actually look at it. I'm looking at it, but it doesn't seem that red, right? Like, it looks like it just looks like dark soda. Like... Anywhere with light peers in there. The that. way it looks here does not look It's getting real weird. I'm not I'm not okay with what's happening right now. It's getting weird. This is really like it's really becoming like an exhibition stream here. Watch Frank drink. Okay, Hunter. You're doing good. Is Mike B on the rat wait list? Are you, what happened when you signed up to be a rat? What happened? They denied me. They denied you? What was yeah. the reason? Because I owe the, the rat society too much. <laughs> is, that from, is that from borrowing? Did you borrow from them? Yeah, I did. Oh, see, that's why. Never get, never get in Big Rat's pocket. <laughs> yeah, that's that's where you messed up. That's a sentence. Never get in Big Rat's pocket. <laughs> oh, I got a new spray bottle, by the way. Oh, did you? Yeah, oh, so great. now it's more... Uh, still invisible, though. I made sure to get the... Uh, oh, it's still green invisible. One. See, but now it's like... Now it's got the full, like... The good mist. The good mist. 
Yeah, you know, the good mist. So when you misbehave, I can spray you in the face. The name is Miss. Misbehave. Oh, 524, actually. That's good today. We started at 520 today. So usually I'll get like four subs or five subs or whatever at the beginning of the stream. And then it won't move at all. 100 for the rat dead. <laughs> hey, much, man. Much appreciated. That's good. That's good. That's... <laughs> You'll get there. I, I believe in you. I believe in you. This is good. This is actually really funny. You're going to waste the prey upon to get rid of this generous tray? Like, oh, I guess you also get this guy in the graveyard. That's good. Man. So how much, what What do you have left on your rat debt, do you think? Do they, did they tell you? Do you know? Uh, I don't, I don't want to put that information out there. <sighs> do you have to pay it in cheese? I can pay it in cheese. Do they give you a discount if you pay it in cheese? Yes. Wow, that's a good deal. I would pay it in cheese. But they're very specific about what kind of cheese they oh, like. Oh, what kind? Uh, very, very sharp cheddar. Wow, that's really interesting. I didn't know. See, I never knew. I don't know this about the rats, the rat society, so. How much is the rat hole? <laughs> How much in the rat hole are you? <laughs> it's like the doghouse, but different. Um, Let's just play 6-6 six, six guy because... It flies and it's a 6-6 six, six and they're stuck on three lands. Look how good her deck is. Cheddar you could cut a man with. Yeah, don't. It's, it's real sharp. Real sharp. Does a big mean cat come to collect the debt? Oh, that no, because I feel like the cats wouldn't work for the rats, right? The cats wouldn't work for the rats. Ooh, Assassin's Trophy. Huh? Wow. Oh, this must be nice to have such mythical rares in your deck. I could just it's get it back. It's not a mythic rare. Okay. Shh. Although it kind of should be. It's basically a mythic I'm rare. I'm glad it's not a mythic rare because then it'd be more expensive. You're more expensive. Oh, we can get anything back though. We can get luminous bonds back. One, two, three. We can get whatever we want. Whatever we want. <laughs> we can get whatever we <laughs> want. <laughs> it occurs to me that we can get whatever we want. It's a little venom meme. I remember that. I'm like, oh, you got the... Have you seen the latest Venom meme? No. In the scene where it's like, we are Venom, they just like put a green screen on that, so like the half the face can be whatever you want to be. Really? Yeah. Oh, that seems interesting. I could probably download that and put it on the stream. <sighs> they have two cards in hand? I feel like they just can't deal with all of this, right? Like, so instead of him saying, we are Venom, the green screen could be, you touch my spaghetti. <laughs> you touch of my spaghetti. You know, like you do. I'm just gonna keep this planes in hand in case they have burglar rats or something. We don't need a seventh mana. FYI, spritzing is also an ASMR. Yeah, I try to make sure the uh, the ASMR triggers, despite being a magic stream, are are pretty pretty prevalent. In case you guys want to, in case you guys want to fall asleep to uh, some soothing, soothing magic, uh, magic playing videos. <laughs> oh God, the lip smacking, <laughs> smacking. <laughs> oh, we have a good time. All right, well, this guy's just coming down now again. One, two. If we had one more creature, we could actually play this guy. But you know what? That's life, man. I guess we'll get in there because you decided to get in for one. I'll get in for three. That's a fair trade. He has a 26. I know. What's your point? It just seems reasonable to get in for one. We can touch whatever spaghetti we want. It seems not okay. <laughs> yeah, I do what I can. It's just, uh... You just got a little look at lip schmacking. Schmacking. Is that what you said? Schmacking? Yeah, schmacking. Okay. Schmacking. Like schmacking cheese? Oh, I have all the Thors ready to go. I, I have them all in my queue, but I have not read them. I am way behind on comics, as you guys know. I am like a year behind, so. And I don't mean like a year behind as in like. 
I'm reading 2017s and I'm almost on 2018. I mean, like, I'm five years behind and it's going to take me about a year to read all the stuff I want in the yeah, meantime. There's, there's a lot of comics. Yeah, there's a lot. Meanwhile, I'm like, you know, f- 20 years behind or something. Yeah, you'll like never that. actually, that'll never happen, unfortunately, for you. I'm sorry. I'm trying to read the hitch, though. We can do whatever we want. All right, just gonna attack for nine here. Oh, that's a good block. Is that you? Yes. Okay, because it sounds like like Hunter like sounds like vomiting. Okay, well now you're just getting now you're just being rude. How much does this guy cost now? Five, six still. Three, four, five, six. And then we have one, two. Ah, dang it. Well, biscuits, butter my biscuits. Do they have audio comics, like audio books, but for comics? I don't no, so. actually. I don't think so. Because you kind of want the pictures, right? You kind of want the pictures. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's definitely actually it. Like, the art is actually just as integral to the story as the words, so. I think they do have, like, someone... I do think there's people that read comics and, like, show you the pictures, though. I think that's the thing. They show you the pictures? Yeah. Why can't you just look at the pictures yourself? I meant, like, they narrate the comic, basically. And you can you follow along with the pictures. Why can't you just read it yourself? Because who wants to be doing all that? Picture pages. Actually, picture pages is not something I can even sing anymore, unfortunately. Wait, what? Picture pages? Are you familiar with pictures? Uh, no, but it was a Bill Cosby thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's the whole point of a comic. Like if you're reading, if you're getting a comic read to you, it's like having a movie read to you. At that case, in that case, you just you basically just read the book, but. Um, the book is not made with pictures in mind. Yeah, we're just going to kill this guy because... Because we can do whatever we want. We can do whatever we want. So one, two, three. Even if they have, like, Pax Favor, we only take six. I think we should be fine. We can look at whatever pictures we want. <laughs> oh, God, man. We have a good time. Everybody wins. Uh, what do I want? Do I want either of these? I kind of want this guy, I guess. This guy blocks this guy really well. And, uh, yeah, so both of these guys are fine. You know what? I'll take them both. What is this? Indestructible? That's pretty good. Indestructible. Time to get your crayons and your pencils. Sorry, that audio comic thing was meant as a joke. Oh, dang it. Oh, that's no good. Now I feel dumb. Hey, we win. Time to get your cranes and your pen. Have you ever been to Iluxcon? I was just there this past weekend. It was fantastic. They're always... What's actually... No, but I have some friends that were talking about that this weekend. Or this week, rather. That's interesting. I'm in some of the art groups on, on Facebook, and people were talking about that. Yeah, I don't really see bringing anything in here. Maybe Prey Upon. I didn't see... It's funny, because I didn't see any... We didn't see any, like, surveil. So this guy's in their deck, and it's just like, I guess it's a one and done. Good talk. Good talk. One and <laughs> I'll just say something, and he's just like... I was reading the chat. I'm going to be honest, I totally, like, okay. in one ear out the other. I don't know what you said mm. at all, even <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> it's good stuff. Good stuff. Actually, on my on my public Facebook page, my, like, my my ad, my promotional page, I guess you want to call it? I don't even know. Um, I got a message recently, and it was actually pretty good. And I'll read it to you guys during the sideboarding section so that uh, so that we can... Nope, that's not it. Is this it? Okay. 
It's in German, or it's in Swedish. Well, it's not in Swedish. Like, they, they speak some Swedish. Hey, man, I pretty much watch every video from you, and I got some criticism for, for your boy. <laughs> I was like, okay, sweet. This is going to be good. One, watch a few drafts from other people. I think you are getting too snowed in on your own opinions sometimes, like the Glaive. I watch you and LSV and Numot and the other boys value cards differently than you. And I'm like, okay, that's actually good. That's actually great criticism. I remember in some cube season, you're drafting swords very highly in creatures and you were doing poorly and LSV at the same time is thinking swords are unplayable. I think you catch my drift. And I was like, yeah, that's good. And LSV was doing good in the league and you poorly. Um, and I'm like, that's great criticism. That actually helps. And actually, I have been watching more draft videos to try to like get different perspectives. So, um, um, number two, he said, I really hate two person drafts. What the hell? Two idiots arguing, but enter Mitchell Barbably boo. Otherwise known as Mike B. This is a perf this is perfect comedy. God damn it, man. Your guys are the perfect team. So all this bullshit comes down to, I think you need to watch a little metagame. Some of your picks and strategies are just bad. I think like a little sand flake in the, the perfect, you know, I don't know. It's, I think that's uh, I think there's just got lost in translation. And he said, and two invite Mike and invite, invite the Barbably man. God damn, you two are more perfect than Batman and Superman together. <laughs> Just like, that's hilarious. Um, your funniness is 10 out of 10 on your videos, but your magic draft is 7 out of 10. I'm like, yeah, that's fine. I accept that. I really hope this helps. I feel like you're, you're, this is your Achilles heel. A little too friendly, a little less magic. And I was like, okay, cool. Works out. That sounds great for me. I totally get that. That's that's great criticism. Um, so yeah, the, Mike being like, I totally zoned out. I was in one ear, not the other. I was like, that's hilarious. And that's perfect. That's exactly What's what I think. this message? Of. I don't know. I don't know. Why? 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 I don't know. That's weird. I felt like like he's he like he had an argument with you, and he's like, "Oh no, I think it's because okay, I think it's here. Here's what I think it is actually. There's a meme in the chat where people are like, "Hey, can you say hi to my my girlfriend's watching? Hey, can you say hi to us?" Mm. And I'm just like, "Yeah, sure," and I'll jokingly say hi. But it's like a meme now. Like people are not actually with their significant others. It's just a meme because, like, they want me to say hi to, like, a different person. You know what I mean? So he's like, here's proof. Yeah. I think that's actually what it comes down to. Because it's got no point where I'm like, yeah, sure, I bet you're watching with, with your girlfriend or your wife or whatever. I bet. And then they're like, no, for real. And the, so it's just a meme now. But I think it'd be really funny if someone sent you, like, as proof and they just have a, they just have a body pillow. <laughs> <laughs> now people are actually going to do that. <laughs> That's... This is my wife. That's amazing. My moves are so slow, they're imperceptible. <laughs> I actually just watched that again the other day. Like, literally two days ago, I watched Infinity War again. Can you say hi to my girlfriend so I can pretend to have a girlfriend? Seriously, though, can you... Yeah, what's her name? What's your fictitious girlfriend's name, Kerwit? I'll say hi. Yeah, when's cube coming back? Uh, let's find out. Command when cube. Not soon enough. <laughs> oh, girlfriendina. <laughs> All right, you got me with that one. That was friggin' good. Oh, this is gonna be nice. Are you ready? I want you to be ready. Okay, I'm ready. Wow, girlfriendina. Her parents really hated her. I Twitch messages you. I'm for some odd reason not on Discord. Yeah, that's that's not good. Get on Discord. Yeah, we're just gonna play this, and if they kill it, we got a fine broker to get it back. Yeah, this is Mike. Do you like milk chocolate? Uh, I like chocolate milk. Oh, is the Ichi is also gonna send us a package? So he asked if we like white milk or dark chocolate. I said dark because I think it's a superior chocolate where I am in my life. The, the point in my life that I'm at right now, I'm, I I'm think a, dark chocolate is better for the most part because it tastes more chocolatey, you know? It tastes more chocolatey! <laughs> but I don't I don't hate milk chocolate. I'm, I'm okay with it. You don't have to hate it, man. It's okay. Legit, one of my favorite times on stream was when you guys said hi to my brother-in-law to prove that Twitch was live and interactive and then he just had to sit there while you and Mike made fun of him for like three minutes. <laughs> I remember that, actually. And he was like, wait, you just watch it? And they're like, he doesn't know what Twitch is? Come on, man. It's 2018. Get it together. That was good stuff. Dark chocolate is best. I agree with you. I, I, okay. So like there's different levels of dark chocolate. Like I've had some of like the, uh, it's not Ghirardelli. It's the other one. The one that makes pepper chocolate. Um, they do make that. 
Maybe it is Ghirardelli, actually. I don't think it is, though. Yeah, it is. It's Ghirardelli. It's like the ones that are like 86% cacao or whatever. And I'm like, this is just too rich. It's too bitter, right? Like, I don't want that. I don't want that high. But like, this is Ghirardelli. This is $135? Ooh. Oh, it's a 12 of them? Yeah, but still, it's like 13 bucks each. This is why this is why they're going out of business. <laughs> it might have been Lint. I think Lint also makes them too. But yeah, like I'm just saying, when it gets into that upper echelon of like cacaos, I'm just like, this is too high percentage. We're getting a little bitter here. Can a mod just PM me the Discord link? Say each, I'll just make you a mod, man. Oh, also, I think it's just Discord. Also, I don't think there's a link. I think you just have to connect your Twitch account and your Discord. That's that should have the uh, the thing. I feel like if you guys are willing to mail me things to my house to eat, <laughs> at that point I'm like, if I don't trust you as a mod, I shouldn't be eating your food. Do you remember that place in Kent with the different levels of hot chocolates you could get? Oh, that place was great. It was in Kent Station. That place was really good, actually. They were like, how 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 sweet do you want it? And I was like, pretty sweet, I think. So one thing I really miss about uh, Seattle or Kent in general is just like those little mom and pop places for coffee. They do just not have those here. Well, also another thing you probably miss is that there were like literal like coffee stands everywhere in Seattle that you could drive like the drive through. Yeah, that's what like, I meant. Yeah. Yeah. Their coffee was on point. On point. I like that we drew the perfect man a double 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 two two swamps two forests two two plains. So now we can play these guys significantly easier than we probably should be able to. It's been linked for one year, never got an invite. Well, did you try to did you try to get an invite instead? Uh okay. where in Kent was that place? Uh Kent Station. If you know where that is. And if you don't too bad. It's where the little trainee and the bussy goes. Pernicious dude, you live in Washington? <laughs> it's where the train and the bussy goes. Yeah, I'm gonna look up Kent Station hot chocolate. Yeah, this is it. It's called Dilla Dilla Tent Dilatante. Yeah, it's on it's on Ramsey Way. Return the slab. Return the slab? Mm -hmm. is, is that what you said? Yeah. What does that mean? It's a little Courage the Cowardly Dog meme. Return the slab? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've never heard that before. Did you ever watch any Courage the Cowardly Dog? No, I never did. I think that was after my time. It was. It premiered in 1999. So. Uh yeah, that's that was a little after my time. I wasn't watching cartoons then. <laughs> Get Adrian like I'm too old for cartoons, but. No, I still probably was watching Dragon Ball Z and and Pokemon at that time. That was like the the peak. Wow, really? You're gonna severed strands, this guy, huh? Okay. So next, at the end of turn, we can make three dudes, and then we can find broker this guy back. Yeah, that seems good. No, right outside of Kent, like a few thousand miles outside of Kent in Philadelphia. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. You live in Philadelphia. I forgot. It's hard to remember every every single place that people live. But yeah, that's pretty comical. <clears throat> but I think it's probably a day trip, right? You uh, ever been day tripping? No. Mike took mushrooms once. He was juice. Yeah, that's true. So I think we're doing good here. I don't know. Oh, we need one more green so we can do both of these. And this is it, but it's not. You can stay home. How can you forget that's where we met? In the middle of 11th Street near the... Oh, that's right! <clears throat> yeah, Pernicious Dude actually saw me going into Wawa in Philadelphia. And... Um just like stopped you yeah he stopped me and said hey and uh that was the first time we met and now here we are that was probably like seven eight years ago man that was a long time ago it was a long time ago oh my god hold on can we do both of these we can do everything this turn this is insane four four vigilance guys is pretty good with a siege worm in hand
green, green. <laughs> sweet board. I that think they're is dead. A sweet board. Lucky top digs. <laughs> What if you have damnation? Both of these. Uh, what if I have damnation? Boy, then they they're dra they drafted real well. You gonna get any more drink? How you doing on your drink? I was gonna wait till. You need a little tequila? I don't need a little tequila. Mike ate half a chicken last night, so that was the thing. I'm so confused. I can't find anywhere how to join your disc. Uh, did you ever think that maybe I banned you? <laughs> God, I'm no, JK, I wouldn't do ban that. before you even joined. What's a preemptive ban? Wow, that was fast. Also, I feel like that match was not really even close. Oh, uh, you know what? I will keep this hand. It's a little slow, but it's got the colors that we need. O face is right. A long, long time ago, I remember myself. And so he rushed a Discord joins you. That's true. In Soviet Russia, Discord join you. <laughs> In Soviet Russia, you sow the seeds of Discord instead, which is significantly different than joining a social platform oh my god finally stupid discord didn't join itself automatically odd reason did you do it did you make it did you do it did you make it in soviet russia discord joins us because communism because it's the people's discord yeah nailed it I like they asked the real Lepore and I'm like if if anyone else has the exact name Frank Lepore on Magic Online and it's not me that's weird don't do it ooh biscuits now oh, we're just gonna play Sworn Companions here this is sad because now they're gonna mentor onto this guy but what can you do man you know what can you do nothing what can you do, man? Life's hard. Absolutely nothing. Sometimes you, sometimes life is rough. Can you tell us more about your rat debt? No, it's private. It's not private. It's a public. It's public domain, man. It is not. Please, anyone on the internet can look up Mike's rat debt. Google Mike's rat debt, and everybody will know. <laughs> Don't do it. No. Look up his rat debt, guys. I'm not gonna block here because next turn we'll have a parhelion. That blocks both of these guys. Sometimes you're the pigeon, sometimes you're the statue. That's a good... In Soviet Russia, you're both of those things at once because of communism. What the hell does that mean? No idea. You know. No. Everybody knows. Mm -mm. Everybody knows that you did, buddy. I'm delirious from lack of sleep. May I recommend sleeping? The worst part is when they send the turtles to break your legs. <laughs> Has that happened to you yet? No. Well, you're lucky then. All I found was this. Of rats and debts. How, when is this from? 2016? That ain't too old. Is that about you, you think? It might be. Man. Sonic Assault. More like, Sonic, more like Sonic the Hedgehog Assault. This is where they're going to take heart here, right on this guy. Nope, maybe not. Sorry, I don't know that. Who's even asking you? Did you hear that? Did you hear that, Alexa? I'll sleep once my bed isn't full of gross parasites. Hmm. Oh, God. Oh, God. I think we're taking six here. We got life linkers. We're fine. We can play this guy. Attack with one of these dudes and the Parhelion. They do have this in the graveyard, which means we're probably dead, but what can you do? Magic's hard. Magic's a hard game. Long, long time ago. <laughs> Why do I have... What is this? All, um, uh, American Pie? Don McLean? 
Bye bye, Mr. Michael. Nice. Oh, my every time the Michael, my little Michael was nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if we actually play both of these, we're dead, right? Because we only have one guy untapped. And then they would proceed to tap it and kill us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Exactly. That's pretty sad. So instead, I'll just play Hired Poisoner. And uh, they can't tap everything, so. Chat, be on your guard for bed bugs. It's hell. I don't think, ideally, most of the chat would not have that issue. That would be my goal, or my, my assumption. I actually never have the Weird Al version of any song stuck in my head. I appreciate Weird Al, and I like Weird Al as an artist. Um, but, but I like music, I like my music more serious. Because when I listen to music, I want to feel certain things, or like... <clears throat> what is this? What happened? They just tapped on our guy? That's fascinating. Bye, bye, Mr. Muggle in the sky. Drove my Michael to the limit and Michael was dry. And good Michael is drinking whiskey and Michael's singing Michael. Stop whiskey. using my name. <laughs> Don't use me name. You didn't block the other guy? No, because I want to pump that guy next turn too. So I, I attack with these two and then I have the other two too that gain two life. And then this guy, uh, okay, well, I guess they're just, they just have it all. Dazzling lights in your, in your aggressive Boros deck is something. I'm color me impressed. Ooh, gotta get him. What'd you say to me? Ooh, gotta get him. Gotta get him. Ooh, gotta get him. Also, if we can draw a symbol here, that'd be great. Oh, that's pretty good. Is that good enough though? I mean, we're definitely attacking for two and gaining two. We're going to seven. We can also just attack with everybody. Nah, we'll just gain two. Weird Alvin or Weird Albert? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. So we're at seven. We have a, They can tap this guy, and then they can tap another guy if they draw land and have... Kind of got to re get rid of that guild mage, right? This one? Yeah. Maybe? I mean, so, it deals three, right? So here's the thing. If we get rid of this... I don't, yeah, no, it costs six to do that. If they're wasting their whole turn to do that, that's fine. And that just kill us, though. I think this guy's actually more important because of the first strike and because it pumps this guy to a 2 2. They have 10 guy. They have 10 power on board right now with this guy. If we take this away, we take rid of take rid of three power. They could tap two guys down with this, and these guys would be gone. We take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'd be dead if they have land. Yeah, we take one, two, three, four, five. And then six, seven are from the Sonic Assault. I mean, th playing Deadly Visit on this guy is almost the same as playing Gatekeeper Gargoyle. Because they're just going to tap it down, right? They tap down this guy. We have two blockers. They tap down another one. We can go block here. We take one, two, three, four, five. We're still dead. Oh, no, we gain two, though, if this guy stays up. So maybe they tap this guy. We block here. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, six. It's still, It's still super close. I want to make them waste their mana, though. So, Because if they don't hit a land... If they don't have like a land and a card they want to discard, they probably do. I'm sure they have six land. They never don't have it, guys. Never don't have it. <clears throat> bye bye, Miss American Michaels. Drove my Michael to the levee, but the Michael was dry. I definitely don't think we have to kill the mage by any means. It's weird that we're at seven, and I feel like we're almost like I feel like we're so close to dead. Because Sonic Assault is just very, very good. Being able to take out a blocker and deal uh, two damage is 
is no it's no joke did you see that trump noise I just made did you do that you haven't seen that no this will probably find it maybe trump dang it citywide bust to all creatures of toughness four or greater okay so I lose a guy two blockers now block blocks I don't think they have another land oh, I'm on a citywide bust <laughs> I can't I can't find the noise I don't think they have anything else here. That's my theory. Oh, well, I think my theory is incorrect at this juncture. Well, let's see what happens, I guess. Block you and block you. Huh. All right, go to three. That was not terrible for us, I guess. But maybe it is. Huh. Wish I had one more land here. What can you do with a drunken Michael early in the morning? You guys know that song? Drunken Michael? So we go to six. They tap this guy down. We go to four. We can block here. We take one, two, three, four. I think we're actually dead here. Yeah, we're pretty much dead. There you go, Trump sound. What? Where? Oh, is this it? God, it's so hard to find. <laughs> That's perfect. Why did he do that? I don't know, man. But everyone, like, now it's just a meme that he sounds like a an air mister. Like one of those ones that, like, pss, like the shoots the spray. You know what I'm saying. I don't know why I did, like, a cobra. But shoots I, the spray. You know the ones. Don't make me... God, if we had one more land killing this guy, it'd be so huge. They tap this guy down. We block here. We take three. We go to one. I'm going to pass. I think we're dead. God, I just want to keep watching it. It's very good what is he like a cat he's like a cat <laughs> I can't imagine any situation in my real life where I'd seriously want to make that noise or that face it's just not yep here we go you ready tap this dude down god one more creature would have been so good here Yep, you got it. I feel like we were not that far. If we had anything that wasn't a 5 or a 7 drop in our hand, I think we would have been okay. You alright, man? What? You alright? What? Are you alright? Huh? Thank you. Billy with the gifted sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. I think Prey Upon's pretty good here. Righteous Blow, also very, very good. We're going to bring in these cheap cards. Take out the Siege Worm. Take out the Gargoyle. Take out Molder Hulk. The Gargoyle Boy. Oh, Blood Operative is actually just fine for the life gain. Can you hear Hunter over there? Oh, I can. Just eating himself? Wow. You okay? You're making a lot, wow. of, you're making a lot of noises over here, wow. man. It's making me uncomfortable. <laughs> Actually, Restore is probably better than Rosemane Centaur in this matchup, but... Uh, yeah, I'll keep the sand. The sand is great. It's just beautiful. There's a compilation of Trump doing his strong sniffs, but it's made to look as though it's always cocaine. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hawk time. I actually like Shieldmate here, um, because we can actually prey upon this guy very easily and then just dead weight the next creature they play Mike do that again but say we send no like into Naboo 
Oh, good lord. What are you doing? Why are you doing that? Stop. It's like hitting the table. <laughs> no, I was making the beat. What beat? The beat, man. What what beat? The beat. What's wrong with you? Why are you the way that you are? Explain it to me. Never. You'll never explain it to me? Never, ever, never, ever. Are you done? No. Sometimes I think you forget that people can hear you because you have a microphone in front of you. They know all that you're doing and saying and beating. They all know what you're doing, what you're saying, what you're beating. They know, buddy. I don't foresee us cast. Actually, only one planes. We only one night white source before you can cast that. I'm about to citywide and bust. Your ADD kicking in, man? I need to make beats. <laughs> yeah, make them with your sweet beat mouth. <laughs> <laughs> make them with your sweet beat mouth. Oh, that's sad. That you would do that to my guy. Seed. You are fake news. Planes. sad because we don't have two white <sighs> I don't think you're going to attack into my 2-1 two my 2-2 two two, and if I play sworn companions I don't think you're attacking into them either so I'm just going to play them beats and beats and carrots and beats and carrots and boots and cats and boots and cats these are all good these are all very very good I'm a fan of all the things that are happening right now Oh, sweet Parhelion, brah. I guess we'll just play Beetle Bro. You gotta beetle them at their own game, that's what I always say. Beetle them. That's, I just said that. Make them with your sweet beat mouth. And how many quotes do you have now? A lot. I've I've had to delete a bunch of them because they were not appropriate out, out of context, but. And I want to see a list of your deleted, deleted yeah. ones. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. That is a solid meme. False. What is going on? That's when Jim is imitating Dwight. Yeah, I know. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't know you were such a an office expert. My bad. I've seen it once. It's a good show. I also been to Slash Hard under Mifflin a lot. I saw, <laughs> I saw Tom Haverford last night. That was pretty fun. Ooh, that was a good draw. Tommy Fresh. What's his name? What's one of his nicknames? And uh, is it Tommy Fresh? I feel like Tommy Fresh is definitely a Tom Haverford nickname on the show. Well, that's a different show, but yes. What's it? What show? Yeah, well, it's on Parks and Rec, obviously. But those yeah. are those are basically the same shows in different environments, no, right? Not. Come on. The humor was different. The humor is different between Parks and Rec and The Office? Yeah. Really? I mean, they're both good. But they're just different. Do you guys think Parks and Rec and The Office are two different shows, or is it one show that's stuck in two different places? <laughs> Come on. Oh, that's really rude that you would tap this guy. Boots and cats. And boots and cats and boots and cats. I love Parks and Rec, and I don't like The Office. How can you not like The Office? That is strange. You're a strange one, Mr. Grinch. You're the king of sin of plots. You're a Grinchy, 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 Grinch. Michael Grinch. It's a song I wrote about Michael, about how he's the Grinch. All right, we're going to do all three of these dudes here. Because you know what? I ain't having your sass right now. This is fine. We'll trade one and a half for one. 
half of the Iron Shell Beetle and uh, one Sworn Companions. I'm not a fan of shows where the humor is based off the awkwardness. Oh, man, that's my favorite. Man, you are you don't you must you must you must not black much TV then. See what I did there? Because it's just a lot of TV shows. Yeah, I was sad that Luke Cage got canceled. When I heard about Iron Fist, I was like, eh. But then Luke Cage, I was like, oh man. After after Luke Cage got canceled, like a week later, I was like, this is weird. I don't like Steve Carell. Weird. Have you gone to any any sort of doctors or therapists to? To have that looked into, because... It's weird, they probably couldn't make The Office today. Why? Because, like, the jokes are, like, pretty sexist. Really? During the early seasons, yeah. Huh. I don't know if that's my... I don't know if that's my... I don't know. You know what they say. I don't know what they say. Never seen The Office, but don't like Parks and Rec. Loved V. Puts it. I don't know actually, but it surprises me that you have not seen. I think you should. I mean, you should just see. You, you didn't like Park. That's interesting that you didn't like Parks and Rec. I didn't get the joke you just made about awkward TV. Can you explain it? Uh, I agree with your take that they're doing a team up series. I hope they are. That would yeah. It just it would be a cool thing that they would do, and they'd be like that makes sense. Like because. That would be a cool Netflix reveal where like, oh, sorry, we, you thought we canceled your favorite shows. Turns out we're just going to put them together. Like, that would be sweet. That would be very nice. That's what, that's from Borat. Do you remember Borat? I do. I've only seen Borat once, though. Really? See, that's a sexist movie. However, it's intentionally that way. Yeah. Because it's a, it's a, it's a commentary. It's a, it's a Sasha Boren, Sasha Boren Cohen commentary uncle fish dinner thank you so much for the sub really appreciate it welcome back buddy long time no see yeah we still gotta finish uh rest of development we do we do and also that spider-man dlc what does that come out today oh when does the spider-man dlc come out uh release is out today but so far it's missing in action oh interesting they're just like no i guess uh i guess we're not gonna release it after all this is interesting that you didn't huh this is the one turn you didn't actually tap this guy it's a little weird I guess because you want to play something. Sure. Oh, you had two two things in hand. Interesting that you didn't play one of those last turn. This is all very uh, very surprising to me. This is a child of the night. Oh, oh, oh yeah. We're having a good time. I don't really feel like I have any profitable attacks. They just go block 2-3, two, block 2-2, two, two, and they can block our 3-3 three, three now as well. So I think we're probably just going to pass here after playing Child of the Night. Well, this is something. On a scale of of to 10, how excited are you for Avengers 4? The leaks have been spiked. I haven't seen any of the leaks, uh, and I'm okay with that. Um, and I'm just, I think I'm naturally at a peak 10 for all Marvel movies. And, uh, once I see them, I gauge if my, 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 my excitement was justified. But it's really hard for me to go below 10 because I'm just super excited about most Marvel movies. Lots of big things happening. Can we draw something good? That's good, right? I mean, it will be good next turn, but right now it's pretty bad and we're probably dead here. You think so? I mean, they could just attack with these two. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't feel great about it.
Oh, it's live. It's only a two gigabyte download. Have fun. Only two gigabytes. What a time to be alive. I mean, we got the pro though. Don't matter. Was got that, that oh, I, no, I'm, I'm just saying like, it's just funny that like, it's like saying it's only like saying it's, if it's for a two gigabyte download. You can preface it with saying it's only a two gigabyte download. That's just funny to me. It's only two gigabytes, two jigglebits. You play that tonight, boy. Don't tell me what to do. So next turn they can attack with both of these, making this a 3-3. Three, three. And they can deal us three if they hit one more land. This is really this is a really sad little stalemate here. Ant-Man and Wasp was fine. Uh, it was an enjoyable movie that I watched and I laughed and I enjoyed the characters and the acting. And I don't really... I don't know. I mean, people saying a movie was not good is just like, what? what's your determination of good? Is it a great groundbreaking film? No. Um... It's an enjoyable flick. It's like a nice little romp. I had a, yeah, I had an enjoyable time watching Ant and Wasp, Ant Man and Wasp, and the the converse uh, is that when I watched Venom, it was not a cohesive storyline and plot, and the characters were not believable or likable, which is why I think that was a bad. Whereas I think Ant Man and Wasp didn't have those same issues, and I think that was good. So. Hmm. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. This guy has vigilance too. Of course, if they untap with this, they have to block with everything right now. They don't. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have to get rid of the first strike or else we don't gain any life. But then we also have to get rid of this guy. I don't think we can win this game, but we're going to just go for it. Amy and the Lost was very entertaining. Can watch with the whole family except for maybe very young kids. Video my Lost. Yeah, like it just it does, it does everything it does fine. Right? Not every movie has to be groundbreaking, but that doesn't make it not good. It just, I mean, there's a difference between just because something is not stellar or exceptional does not mean it's not good. So I think it's a, it's a really kind of weird way to to view movies I think oh that's good too yeah they had a bunch of guys where we're just not gaining life so bad block for us bad block for us bad block for us Bad block for them, bad block for us, and they take three and go to three. I didn't understand the praise I saw from friends about Venom. Some from friends were like, Venom was really good, and I'm like, no, it wasn't. I mean... Yeah, it was pretty bad. Yep, you got it. This match was not particularly good. I can't really get into most Marvel films. Man, what's that about? That's too bad. Ninja said Venom was amazing and he's literally the only person I've seen who has praised it. Yeah, well. That's something. Oh, good. Another Boros deck. This will be fun. False. Hmm. Boros seems to be really good. I mean, if you got the good Boros deck, it is. If you get the bad Boros deck, it sucks. It sucks ass. Can't the same be said about all religions? Religions? Mm-hmm. Did you mean guilds? No, I meant religions. It was a castle. Of, it was Symphony of the Night meme. A what? Symphony of the Night meme? Yeah. Interesting. I did not get that. Clearly. Clearly. Oh, you clearly didn't get it. God, I just play this? I think I do play that. I don't want to take infinite from these guys. Double banner, that's pretty good. 
Venom held my attention for the time frame of a movie, and yeah, I laughed a couple times. Beyond. Right, like I haven't... See, a lot of Marvel movies I'll get out of, and I'll think about them afterwards, and I'm like, oh, this is cool, I remember this, oh, this is awesome. And for Venom, I was just like... Okay. That was a movie that I watched. Look at this beautiful curve. Hey, man, you ever seen curves like this, bruh? I've seen much better curves. Wow. Excuse me. Hmm. How nice. I still don't know why the drones lee up in that hour-long chase scene. The drones lee up? I don't know what that means. What are we talking about? What, what movie? Venom or... Do you, oh, did you mean let up? And we're talking about Venom? Is that what's going on here? Is that what's happening right now? They have two cards in hand. Huh. I want to play this guy. And the gateway plotza. Plotza. Oh, I don't know why the drones blew up in that hour long. I don't know why anything happened in that movie, actually. I was like, why are these two in a relationship? Why am I so sad? I was wondering if I would ever buy it. <laughs> now is your time. Why do we care about this relationship that went on for literally one scene and now I'm supposed to be really emotionally engaged in it? Why is, do I care about this bad guy who doesn't really make any logical sense? I don't understand anything that's going on in this film. Big fan alert. <laughs> uh, actually, I think we actually do need a fan emote. That's actually pretty funny. It, it just happens way too frequently now. I never get to catch the stream. However, do you watch your video? <laughs> good, good. Oh, good shit. I was like, what did he say? What do, what are you saying there? I was like, what is this word that's bleeped out? Dang it. Why are you going to kill my boy? Don't attack with these guys. All right. We're just going to take a bunch from this guy and just assume that eventually it will run out. Just curious if it was really you in my last game when you, when you crushed me. It might have been. It might have been me. Was it me? Was that Shaggy song? Yes. Hmm. They did a Trump parody of that guy. Apparently Marvel really wants Norman Osborn in the MCU. Really hope he... Oh, really? Where did they say that? Norman Osborn was great and it would set up a ton of fantastic movies like Dark Avengers, Dark Siege, Secret War. That would be fantastic. Plus, with Captain Marvel coming out right now, Secret... Se not Secret War, Secret Invasion. Secret Invasion seems real primed. To, oh, I'm getting real excited. I get the I'm getting the heebie-jeebies right now. I have to gain immortality so I can see all Marvel movies. Did you say that or did you read? No, some... I just said that. Yeah, same. I agree with you. They already approved the Dark Avengers script. Uh... I, I didn't even have a moat for that. I don't know that. I don't know that storyline. Can someone link me to that? Because that seems amazing. Can you link that in chat? Because oh my god, having Iron Patriot as Whew. Whew. I can't I don't care about these guys that much I do want to get rid of this guy though and this is good enough almost I try you good games buddy good games I mean they were not good games they were be they were bad games because you crushed me but no good games good games uh oh my god this is exciting god I'm so excited right now it's not reasonable James what's going on buddy long time no see Oh my god. This is so exciting. Anyone with you today? Your mom! Oh, no, just kidding. <laughs> oh man, that's... <laughs> so what is uh, what is Dark Avengers about? Uh, Dark Avengers is about... Uh, right after Civil War, there was a huge clash. You know Civil War? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know Civil War, because yeah, the movies, obviously. So Civil War sets it up so that like... 
the American po- no 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 it wasn't even Civil War um yeah it was Civil War it was Registration Act but people don't trust the Avengers right like people don't trust heroes and stuff so Norman Osborn comes in and he takes over S.H.I.E.L.D. and he's like I'll handle this and he takes over S.H.I.E.L.D. um and then he takes a bunch of villains and sets them up as the Avengers. So instead of Hawkeye, Bullseye is the the Dark Avengers Hawkeye. Um, Venom is the Dark Avengers Spider-Man. You know, Dark Darkon, which is uh, Wolverine's son, becomes evil. Wolverine's evil son becomes the, the Dark Avengers Wolverine. And um, you just have all these like... I'm just going to play something because... So like it's this it's this struggle where like... Where the bad guys, fairly topical, the bad guys end up getting into power and, like, making changes because the people were tired of feeling like the superheroes were, like, uh, they had too much power. They were, like, exploiting the system or, you know, what have you. But um, it's a great story. Yeah, Ares, the god of war, was the um, was the, the Dark Avengers Thor. And it was real cool because they had their own they had their own like costumes, but the costumes were like very. And uh, Norman Osborn became the Iron Patriot, which was um, oh that was good. Command the storm, and then you get to attack for thirty thousand damage. Um, became Iron Man, and so it was like this really scary situation where like the bad guys were literally assuming the roles of the good guys, and um, you know. It, it had a very uh, uh, kind of feel to it. it. Had a kind of feel. It made you feel some kind of way. Some type of way. My point is that it's very similar to America. Very similar to America. I did see that they're making a Craven movie, and like, so here's the thing, man. What even is Craven? Craven the Hunter, he's a Spider-Man villain. Oh, now I know what you're talking about. And um, I feel like if you really, if you actually associate your characters with the MCU, the way Spider-Man Homecoming did, it doesn't matter what studio you're building out of. Like, you're just, you can just, you can still make a good movie. Oh, I see what you did here. You done messed up, eh, Aaron? Well, I guess this is fine. I'm at seven, so I'm actually double blocking these guys. They have one card, and we have Siege Worm, so that seems decent. Craven, the, exactly, exactly. Wow. No, just pay the man I have in the pool. I got seven in the pool. Just put the guy down. Put the guy down. Dark Avengers was dope. What are your thoughts on Suicide Squad Two with James Gunn in lead? I think if that movie's ever going to do well, it's because James Gunn is there, but um, I don't know, man. Why do you... Like, it's weird that you would make a second one when the first one was really I not... Still, I still have yet to watch it. So Same. I started watching and fell asleep, wow. so... No hit, huh? That's pretty rough. I think James Gunn is great, and... Uh, Everything he does has been very good. He puts his heart into his projects, uh, which is oh cool. This is literal next card. So if we had if we went one card deeper, would have been able to hit a fine broker, and uh, that would have been significantly better. However, we're, we're very far ahead, so I'm not going to complain about it. But you know, just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, I want to play this guy. Atreyu, thank you so much for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Man, it's great when uh, when people I play against crush me and then they come and then they subscribe. That is like, that's a good feeling. That's a good feeling. A juicy Pepper Potts set photo leak today? What does that even mean? Oh, uh, you're not familiar with Pepper Potts who's been in like 17 Marvel movies by now? Tony Stark's love yeah, interest? Yeah, I know. Well, what's juicy about it? Uh, I, I guess well, like she's probably... Uh, should I look up juicy Pepper Potts leak? I'm just going to look up Pepper Potts. I'm sure that'll show up. No, someone leaked it apparently. I mean, yeah, all right. Let's see what we got here. Beware, look. Oh, look at that. That's some armor right there. All right, so we're going to play... 
Yeah, as far as I can remember, Pepper Potts actually played a character called Rescue in the comics. Like she was actually had her own or suit. She had her own suit for a while, and uh, that would actually make sense. I don't see. I don't know what they're gonna do after Captain America and um, and Iron Man are out of the picture. Ironheart. Ironheart. Yeah. What's that? What's that? You don't know what Ironheart is? Google Ironheart. Is that the girl? Yeah. Was she called Ironheart? I think so, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Riri. <laughs> I mean, that's a... Don't laugh. <laughs> He's trying so hard not to laugh. I was like, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to bring a righteous blow because they had a bunch of nerdles. Nerdle McDurdles. Bucky because probably becomes a new cap. Yeah, I could see that. But there's... The, yeah, Bucky could be the new cap or Valken could be the new cap. Like, there's, there's definitely... I mean, both of them played Captain America. So, there's no reason why it would be one or the other. Wait, who looks really old for only 46? Are you talking about Gwyneth Paltrow? I don't think that's true at all. Something wrong with your eyes, kid. <laughs> Something wrong with your eyes, buddy. I'm going to mulligan this hand, and I'm going to keep this one. All right, we did it. You can leave and never come back. I don't want either of them to be capped, but I could def... What? 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 Get out of here. I think it's fine either way. I like I love Sebastian Shaw and uh God, what's the Anthony what's his name? What's the what's Falcon's name? I like a Falcon actor. Anthony Mackey, okay. I was halfway there. Yeah, both of those guys are good. I have no issues with either of them. I'm just gonna play this guy. I kinda just want the counter on the beetle to be honest. This guy's going to trade with anything anyway, so its size doesn't really matter. Yes, Anthony Hopkins as the Falcon. <laughs> that would be interesting. That's I mean, he he's in it. He's uh, uh he's he's knighted. I mean, that's got to be that's got to count for something, right? Get him. Insert joke about fava beans. Oh, lava coil? God, what's it like being that rude? Rude. Okay, so what do we got? One, two, three. It doesn't matter, I guess. We're just going to play. It doesn't matter. We have some more white spells. Than Next, we have dead weight. So it's pretty much even. Righteous blow and dead weight are the only thing we can cast here. Okay. That's actually pretty good on this board. Captain Asgard. That's not a thing. I got the whole chat going up and being like, Mackie, Mackie, Mackie. Compare it to Lucille. I don't have to compare it to one other existing human being to determine if someone looks old for their age. <laughs> oh, man. It's a spectrum, buddy. It's a spectrum. What just happened? Did they still three to... What? Wait, what just happened? Oh, did they just pump this guy? Oh, that's no good. Oh, that's bad. That's bad news. That's not a good sign. Mike's been nursing this drink for ages because he hasn't wanted to get up to refill it. Look at all those dragon fruits. No one can see them because... But I can. Okay, well you can't tell people to look at them if you're the only one looking at them. <sighs> yeah, I'm so sick of your attitude. I'm sorry, what? So sick of your attitude. Are you? Yeah, hey, you got some attitude. What's for dinner, man? What are we eating? Spaghetti. We're not eating spaghetti. <laughs> Why not? I'll order some spaghetti. No, you won't. You're right, I won't. I said, but they were BG. That meme, the, uh, you said GG, but they were BG, is probably my favorite meme ever. I've never even seen that meme. What? I, I spelled it backwards, but this one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, crying out loud. <laughs> I 
get the zooming in on this guy's face. Oh, it's, it's priceless. Priceless. I'm just trying to get more camera time. Hey. Three little, two little cuties coming down. See, look, in the art, it's one, it's a male and a female. But when they come down, I think these are two females. This is, uh... Maybe that... Plot that, hole. That, maybe that dude wasn't the warrior. He was just, like, he was the captain, so he sent his people out, you know? Yeah, but that's not what the art's telling me, man. That's true. These are companions. These are the sworn... These two are meant to be the sworn companions. Mm. You're right, flavor fail. You know what? Out of 10. Here's the thing. I have so much faith in Marvel right now that if they did make a movie where Rocket was the new Captain America, I would watch it. It would probably be very good because I bet they could do it. I bet they could pull it off. That's how much faith I have. I mean, if you, I mean, the fact that he pulled off Guardians of the Galaxy so well is, is it blows my mind. Like anyone could be like, yeah, they're gonna put this talking raccoon in this movie and this tree. Don't forget the this, tree and the talk and a tree. <laughs> As a character, and this is going to be a movie. No one would ever think it would be good, but it was. It was fantastic. Yeah, it's funny because uh, I just watched Avengers: Infinity War, and like one of my favorite parts was like where, where, uh, where Thor's like, "This is my tree friend," and Groot's like, "I am Groot," and Captain America's like, "I am Steve Rogers." <laughs> just like that's fantastic. That's like that's so on brand for captain keep the good work really appreciate the content thank you so much and i couldn't thank him because the game all right well i just want to go back to the game all right all right we did it either way thank you guys so much for watching really appreciate it i am not ending the, the stream i'm just going to end the youtube video here so if you guys are watching on youtube thank you so much for watching really appreciate it slam those like and subscribe buttons check me out on twitch and patreon links are in the description below and also i discovered yesterday that meundies.com slash frank Lepore did very very well for october so if you guys purchased uh really appreciate it you can check it out at uh, the link i just mentioned or it's in the description below meundies.com slash frank Lepore. you get 15 percent off and you can also get some super sweet Super sweet micromodal uh, socks, lounge pants, tees, and underwear. And uh, you get free shipping and free returns if that interests you. They have some sweet glow-in-the-dark Star Wars underwear right now, which is awesome. And uh, it's a good deal. So check it out. Helps support me. You get some cool swag. Everybody wins. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.